What's up, what's up, what's up? Yeah, you know what it is. Welcome to the strip, welcome to the shop, welcome to the app. It's your boy Big Dean, I'm in the building, man. I got a good one today, I got my bro in the building too. Y'all know sometimes I like to have a special guest. So I got my homie in there, because it's a good one. Uh, You know, I'm going to give my normal shout outs. Cooling the crew. Shout out to T3, Polar Bear, Mayor Sasua. Shout out to Miss Vivian. Shout out to JC Family. Shout out to Dominic LeBlue. Shout out to Tay Eats. Shout out to Journey with Kiki. Shout out to It's a Terrence kind of thing. Shout out to Nitro Freak. Shout out to Collab. Shout out to Supine. Yeah. Shout out to Sandra and the Boo Bears. Shout out to LLP Cheyenne. Shout out to the Rooks. The Rooks family. Y'all get over there and check them out. Shout out to Miss Tracy over there cooking it up. Serving it up. Shout out to Chef Riz. Shout out to Sleazy. Shout out to Tia. And so many more. <laughs> Let me get it going though, y'all. Look. I done found some disturbing shit today. Y'all know how I do. Y'all know you, you know how my peers is and how people that be around me be. We ain't putting no punches. We ain't taking no sides. We ain't being biased. But we're going to tell you the truth. It doesn't matter. You can accept it or not. A lot of people, you might like what I say. You might not like what I say sometimes. But that don't mean that it's not real. That don't mean that it ain't the truth. And all the thing it takes is for you to do your due diligence and go put yourself out there and find out how true it is. That didn't sound right. Find out how true without the TH it is. <laughs> But anyway, so look, I'm looking at this story now. I'm with my homie. Uh, bro, you want to use your real name or or you got a YouTube name you want to use? You know what I'm saying? We could use a different name. Or you could use, you know what I'm saying? Shit, for anybody that know me, this is wild, man. What up? Everybody, shit. Y'all hear loud and clear? That's my homie, Swab. So... I was looking at this shit today. This shit popped up. But actually, it was yesterday. It's a story that popped up. I know y'all familiar with Omari Stoudemire, the basketball player. I was seeing some shit about he got arrested for domestic violence. Domestic violence on his child that happens to be a teenage girl. Now, we was talking earlier and I'm, I'm going to tell y'all the same thing I was telling Swab from my perspective of how I'm viewing this. Now, mind you, I'm a new daughter father. I had sons. My daughter is the youngest. My bro here is a bro that I know who had daughters. You see what I'm saying? When the, when the crew had boys, he had daughters. So his ability to raise daughters, we was looking at that. And he looking at us with, you know what I'm saying? While we all young, raising the kid, we don't have no parent manuals. We doing this though, so I'd rather have a person like that on the panel talking about or at the table <laughs> talking about this because this can this is about to go a couple ways. Now I know some of y'all not gonna like it, and some of y'all might, but the truth is gonna be the truth. Now here it is. I don't. Let me start this. Y'all know I don't do that putting disclaimers up and all that shit, but I will tell you what a disclaimer is, and here go one. I do not support domestic violence or abuse to women or children by no way, shape, or no form. So, all my viewers who know how I do, please stay in context with how I'm saying what I'm saying and, and, and really pay attention. So, listen. They say... He domestically abused his daughter. First of all, come out of the thought of what domestic violence is when you usually hear that word. Because that already is going to play a trick in how you perceive the story. Just to hear the domestic violence. You're already thinking of something else when you don't really understand how the charges play out. How what domestic violence really is. You know what I'm saying? So pay that attention. Again, keep in mind that it is his daughter. And we in a time frame now where people don't think that you're supposed to be punished for the shit that you do. Now, story also said she was a teenager. Story said that there was a smack or a hit to the face. One witness said it was a smack. One witness said it was a punch. Supposed to have been a little blood. Mom was supposed to have made the report. Here's the thing. I don't condone none of that shit. I got a daughter. And I will never ever, as long as I live, 
smack her, or put a hand on her fucking face. And if anybody do that, you're going to end up... If Let's keep going. So, um... Yeah, so I don't condone that. Yeah, not to the face. You know what I'm saying? So now let's stay in context, because this is where a lot of people thrown off because they don't know. Yeah, to the back of the head, or or say, okay, so for us, yeah, but yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can't. Okay. Right, right. Right. How you saying that? You you gonna have some understanding that this is not a playful tap, and it's serious, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I ain't, yeah, this is new. Yeah, this is some new. Day. <laughs> Dad touched me? Yeah. So I do want to stay in context because a lot of people don't know the other part of the story is the reasoning. And now this is where I'm going to lean toward him a little bit. The reasoning was supposedly because his daughter jumped up or maybe bucked up and got disrespectful with his mom. Coming from the time frame, it should be all time frames, though. Your child should never be more disrespectful to you than your parent. So if that was the manner in which how the, the situation went, by all means, she do deserve something. I'm not saying hit her and beat her up, but I'm also going to look at the whole picture that perhaps maybe it wasn't even a hit or a beat up. We got, look, I'm going to be for real. We got kids. You know when you get ready to pop your kid, your kid do goofy shit like this? You know what I'm saying? Like so, and but, you, but, but, but now time frame, they got all this social media and these phones and shit. So, it could be looked at different. Once you report, oh, he hit me. I'm just saying. I'm not coming to his defense. If if, if if I'm incorrect in that context, but what I'm saying is, you got to be looking at the whole thing before, here we go again, want to jump in the media lanes and bash brothers who don't deserve it, which is also putting out a new image or a new discussion or a new distraction for us to absorb. Right. Just another way for him to try to bash You know what I'm saying? So, was he... Was he wrong? If he chastised her for saying something sideways to his mama, that's granny. Yeah, no, you, don't do that. you got you lucky yeah. that in my family, granny would have been the one with them hands and feet on. Oh. You, do you can sit back, man. Sit back. <laughs> Pop a bag of that popcorn or some shit, cause. It's, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, when I'm watching it, I'm watching people comment, right? I'm watching how people judging and people jumping on YouTube quick to take this shit out of context. This is a parenting teach moment here, though. This ain't a clout chase for this or, or this. This is a parent teach moment across the board for the layers that I just gave us, which was both sides of this table. She's a teen. We know how teenagers are. We know how defiant they can be. We know how rebellious they can be. In this time frame, we know how public got them thinking they can say what they want to say to you. With knowing all of that, we should never be quick to just jump on the media's version of this story. Because, okay, I'm going to tell you now, if one of my kids jump fly at my mama while I'm standing there, you know where they're going to be getting up from? The floor. I ain't saying I'm about to knock him out or do this. I might even trip you or sweep your ass, but you're going to hit the floor. You better hope my mama don't reach out and touch you. I might have to be the, the stopper in here because... My mama might just reach <clears throat> before you know it. You all up in the corner somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Like beat up, and you better not defend yourself or try. 
Because now, we're going to jump you. Oh, <laughs> See what I'm saying? <clears throat> then that's the problem. We don't stop being parents. Parent don't mean, look, chastising do not mean whooping your kids. It don't mean whooping their ass. It means to correct them. It can be mental. It can be done with chores. It can be done with things that they think they deserve, but they, they don't. Like, period. So, when we get back to that story. So, now... He done beat on her and did all this and look all bad. Truth of the matter is. Uh, truth of the matter is though. I believe from my, from looking at this. I believe. Okay that they both were incorrect though. So I guess he, he whooped on her. For disrespecting his mama. She went, I guess, her mama called the police. Not necessarily is what I'm saying. So what? Like I just explained. I'm, I'm, yeah, with some blood. They say. They say. She wasn't bleeding profusely. She wasn't bleeding out. Eyes wasn't beat up. And none, of, none of that. So that's why I said earlier... You know when you get ready to pop your child and they do all this type of shit? What if it was one of them, she was popping fly and he, uh, 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 but she was doing all that and that's where it landed on her lip and popped her lip. I don't had that happen to me before as a she child. Her she could have hit herself or her doing what she was doing could have caused him to hit her where he wasn't really trying to hit her right there. But because you acting all goofy. You know what I'm saying? And but and keep in mind she a teenager. So she could be doing some old jump up and try to get fly and he had to grab her. Yeah, shake her up for real. That's my mama. Boo 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 boo. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So Hey man. You know, them phones, man. All that all that phone stuff is teens on and sometimes we even get caught up on man. Definitely. That it needs to see somehow. It's hard, you know what I mean? It's hard, but you need to try to get them, get them phones out to these kids' hands for at least an hour, 30 minutes, start breaking it down to where they are not on that phone. Besides when they not charging it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the, uh, it's going like that. Like, just give them something else productive to do, man. I could agree with that to a certain degree. Because I, I like way feel the same way. Like, they do too much, too much time unproductively on their screens, though. I had the privilege to look around the globe and see what other cultures do with their phones. Oh yeah, it's a whole different world. So in China, they they're working as like every day. They're working all the time. Like even if I pull up a YouTube channel of that particular area, like I got a, a lot of overseas, their lives and the things that they do in they and just. It's different. Yeah, it's different. Their indoctrination is... Don't, don't get it twisted. They're, every country is indoctrinated by its government to govern the mental of the people. It's, you know, that's how you control them. But what I'm saying is their indoctrination as it pertains to the tech is more properly used than frivolously over here where ours is being entertained by the social media, some of them countries don't even allow Facebook. Exactly. Some of them countries don't even allow no Instagram exactly. over there. Exactly. Exactly. And TikTok come from China. That's Chinese. We think, we don't know. That's a Chinese app. Wow. They was doing that shit already, bro. Oh, man, I'm so glad. Now this word, like I was telling you before though, I'm also right. I'm also in opposition to that too, though, because the world's gonna keep on moving. I discussed that with you the last time. So since the world's gonna keep on moving and tech is gonna keep on growing, the kids have to because they don't know a world without tech. 
your kids and my kids kids they they don't know what analog is wired phone to the wall are you fucking crazy what the what is that a dial you remember the the rotary that right there will blow a mind so what I'm saying exactly so when we say that we want the kids out the out the phones we got to be careful with that we need to be better educated so we can better direct our kids with the tech because the tech ain't going nowhere it's going to keep progressing it's part of their life you us trying to get them to reject it or to not pay it attention is us slowing them down in their life of progress. So them people that I go and you know talk to people, ah oh, man, I don't, I don't, I know people who don't buy their kids the tech just because they don't like it. They'll buy the Jordans. They'll buy expensive shit, dirt bikes and shit. They won't buy the tech because they don't understand it. There's other things that we so focused on what's propagandized to us that we don't know what the tech is. I, I hear people say, oh man, that YouTube shit. You know why you say that? Because you don't know what it is. Oh man, yeah, yeah. you can't get no money off of there. There's millionaires on here. I'm sorry. There's millionaires on CBS. But there's also broke people on CBS. Fuck is we talking about here? So... It's a if it's a slope right there, you know what I'm saying. So all of that can go back to, you know, bring, let me show you how we can bring it all back to what the topic was. With you saying that, is this a a proper display of again what a parent wasn't teaching correctly? Because with the phone and all that, she didn't have no discipline with the putting the phone down or. First going to it to post, like you said. So my child, if I discipline my child, my child's first thing isn't to pick his phone up and say, Hey, y'all, my dad just whooped my ass. That's what I'm saying. It's up here. So, yeah, we can lean toward his direction on that and say, Hey, well, you know, it's what you, it's everything is what you're doing with it. That's almost like saying we shouldn't let old people drive cars. To a certain degree, I agree that older people lose reflex. Some of their peripheral is not as sharp. Some A lot of their movement is not as sharp. But at the same time, the world is still progressing and not all old people operate on the same frequency of what you think old is. So not all young people is fuckheads with the tech. Some of them is taking that tech and them started small businesses. And made small creations that's way more lucrative than some of us them seen thus far in our lives. It's about us. Like, I don't like TikTok. Yeah, I don't like TikTok at all. But, I get it. And I understand that for young, for the young, man, stop it. Stop. I, no, I, yeah, I just see that, I just see what they can do when you let them be creative. Like, when you let kids and, and young people just be creative, that shit they produce, man, I'm not a hater of that, that, that generational gap. I done seen some old people get on this joint and act a fool, and it be like good, wholesome foolishness. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no 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 BS. You like to tune in. Like, oh, man, I want to go see dog. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a plus and a minus to the tech, but like I say, it's, it's got to be taught right. A lot of us, a, yeah, a lot of us fear it because of even how it's told to us. Even when people tell us, oh, we, we talking truth shit or we talking conscious shit. They're giving it to you in fear mongering, telling you what the fuck it's going to do to you. Why you always tell us that side of the story? Why not it exists? Obviously, the people who got them that money to make it exist, they're going to keep having the money to keep making it exist. What do I need to do, though, to either benefit or not from this shit? Because it's here. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to, that's the way to get your bread out. So, yeah, I don't like it. Some of them platforms I don't like at all. 
But I know the benefits of me being attached to one and just shipping a video over there is. Like, some platforms is certain shit take off on certain platforms different than it do others. Like, if I get right here and do a dance, right here and then post this, that shit, you might get, you know, I'm going to get some views. But if I put that small clip on a TikTok with a song, nigga, I don't see people go from one like today to 10,000 likes tomorrow because this video was like this and like, damn. So it's just what we choosing. Like I said, it's a lack of education because we're not educating ourselves on the tech. We continuously listening to the system by reading the magazines and different people's opinion on what they think about the tech. You couldn't possibly really feel like that if you got a phone in your pocket. Like, use the use. What the, look? People buy these phones don't don't read the specs. You don't know how much memory on that bitch. They don't like to read. And I think it's what you said earlier, though. Like how we were saying. Man, we're going to stop giving people so much credit. Like, I don't pull no punches. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm grit. Motherfuckers don't care. Yeah. I watch people, man. Some of our peers. I watch the difference in what you would choose to look up and what you don't choose to look up with your time that's free when you're sitting there doing what you're doing. That tells me a lot. Like a person who, look at this, man, look at this. And every, everything on your phone is one of them them ass popping or twerking videos. And listen, yeah, that's, right. you know what that tell me? It tell me a couple things for real, but I don't be one to tell niggas what it tell me. It's some perverting you. It's some freakiness going on that, that that's constantly on your mind like that. Like it's deeper than what you thinking it is. You thinking, oh, this a man type. You, you know what I'm saying? And you consistently got this in your phone. You, you know what I'm saying? Nah, bro. Like, nah. It's the same for a nigga who constantly, oh, man, look at this, look at this. I don't want to see ESPN all day, every day, bro. What kind of dude is you? You know what that is? That's a man so proper. Storylines and emotions just running wild. Like, you'll cry. If, if, your, if your team win the championship, you'll cry out of joy. You ain't getting a fucking check. But you emotionally invested in that shit. So, like I say, it's because we don't want shit. I'm emotionally invested in education and information. Now, I know that ain't for everybody. But I feel high off that. Like, you know what I'm saying? The more I learn and, and research stuff. And now I'm not just talking about what people think is the knowledge or the secrets of the world type shit. I'm talking about information like... Ocean water, in the sky, cloud, chair, nylon, dirt, motherfucking anything. Anything that I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it's interesting and I don't know it, it's worth me taking the time to know it. Like, and then, like I say, that's what brings wisdom. It ain't about knowledge. Not Look, man, reading books get you knowledge. It's the application of the shit you done read that creates the wisdom. It's the application. So most niggas I'll just be talking. They ain't they ain't experiencing or applying none of that. Like I look at some of that whole conscious community that they talk about. Man, you'll never be I don't know what these dudes be thinking about. You'll never be comedic. What are you talking about? If Kemet is ancient, you can't be it. Simple as that. I look at a lot of these doctrines and a lot of these little things like if that's ancient, you could never be it because you're so far removed. You had to even search for the information to tell you about it. Now you're in a whole different ge geographical location. Supposedly, according to your story, the food different, the air different, the terrain different. And you're not that. We pick up so much shit and just want to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, the culture. I get tired of hearing that, too. 
The culture. I mean, it's the culture. Man, hip hop ain't a culture. I'm going to be frank with people. Hip hop is not a culture. If hip hop is a culture to you, then you're a fucking degenerate. Well, why would you say that? Because the hip hop culture caters to sexualization of women, heavy drug use, peer on peer violence, robbing, shooting, stealing, killing, and all the rest of the mayhem. Poetically put together. Culture would mean that you're taking that and manifesting it into real life to, to, to mock that, what's being said. So if that's your culture, if that's what, and you glad, you praising this shit, then you fucked up. Like, you know what I'm saying? We too lazy and stupid to create culture. This ain't got to be no hard shit or no research shit. You, you create what you want your culture to be. In my home, my culture is this. You know what I'm saying? This is what we do. We lounge out. We got that type of life. Sorry that yours so hard. Mine ain't. I'm not looking down on you because yours hard. But what I'm saying is, in this is my culture. I had it hard before when I was younger and in different situations that I placed myself in because I'm always responsible for my own shit. But you know what I'm saying? In different situations I placed myself in, I had it hard. But shit, culture is what you making. Like what, what, how you put that shit together. And then it become like that. So my family and your family together, our culture is like this. Do I listen to hip hop? Man, look, the music, this, that's not even hip hop. Like, we so fucked up. That's why I keep saying that, man. Look, we just take shit and just run. Well, that's not hip hop. Hip hop was before Russell Simmons and the merger of that Def Jam shit. That was hip hop. Them contracts and on to now. That's not hip hop. Like, motherfucker, tell y'all, we got writing teams. What the, uh, what? I thought you was the artist. That's why I listen to certain stuff. And I'm biased like that. But sometimes, I, I, I dibble back and forth. But, I prefer artists that I know write their own material. Like, because if you're not just write, if you're not writing your own material, to me... You're an entertainer. Ain't no art in you singing somebody else's shit. Oh, because you sang it like this. And if that was your way of singing, that was that was very artistic. Well, well no, you just had the ability to sing what somebody else wrote. You didn't write it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't that's just me though. I guess it's acceptable or whatever, but that's just how I view that shit. I don't, this, that's not hip hop. What we listening to now is manufactured music. Yeah. Like, I don't. Like, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I catch myself bobbing my head to it. Yeah. And it's not even, I mean, you know, it's more so the beat. But I still gotta stop myself because. What they're saying is even more worse. Okay, so I'm glad you said that. Right you know there. Saying, but I'm like, you got the ability to pause and stop. So do I. If I could bob my head and just listen to the beat and never, li never let the words sink in. Yeah. But see how powerful and dangerous it is to the youth and people who not, who 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 not even. They too weak to want to. The words going right in there. Yeah, they you know what I'm saying they sucking it on in, and because they dealing with regular trauma, they leaning on that shit like it's it's crutch. Oh man, I feel him. I'm going back out here. Let me grab my Drake. I gotta hit back on these streets. Yeah, it's just, it's 
never in jail or something. It's just going, yeah, it's just on and on and on because hey, when you're dealing with people who ain't, and that's what I'm saying, that if we know that the reason why the music is like how it is is because these certain entities is strictly pushing that. Come on now. Yeah. That's simply what this is. They All the time. There's people who rap about other stuff, have songs about other stuff, and you know why you don't hear them? Because when they go to the company, that ain't what they're trying to sell. So no, you ain't signing. They're strictly signing that. If we know this, then you stupid if you keep supporting that. Okay, they're going to keep playing, they're going to keep playing, but okay, that's cool. But you, Keep talking about it, though. You let them shut y'all up. Oh, you can't talk about this, man. Ooh, ooh, don't say this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wish I... I thought we understood what time this was. I thought we understood all this time frame and from all this deep studying and all. I thought we knew that it, you can't put nothing else over our mouth. You know what I'm saying? I thought you, everybody knew that this where we was at in time. There ain't no more shutting me up. Ain't no more shutting you up. Yeah. Ain't no more shutting mama up. Shutting daughter up. Shutting No. When some shit unjust and it's against us, it's all mouth open. What the fuck we doing out here? Right. Like you see what I'm saying? Like we are uh, now we done let that whole conscious shit put your ass back to sleep. Now figure that shit out. See, now motherfuckers think they all spiritually holier than thou. They think they comedic priests and shit walking around this motherfucker. No, you're not. You're not. You can't be. It's not the same magic from so-and-so years ago. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, man. The moon ain't even in the right place, is it? So polarity affect all this shit, right? According to what y'all talk about, ain't nothing where it was. That shit fucking us all up, cause it got people thinking that oh, now they think they too far outside the box. Oh man, I be astral projecting every night. You don't. You had a dream. Every dream is not an astral projection. I had a strip project every night now. No, you don't. You had a dream. Were you in full control? Are you able to right now note everything that was going on? Because that's what that is. Astral projecting is you going from one place to the other, bruh. Just not in that vehicle. In your self self. You know what I'm saying? You ain't sleep. You know what's going on. And all that. When you get back in your vehicle and wake up, you remember and know everything that you. Look, don't tell me about this. You know what I'm saying? That's where we at now. People out here is so weak, distracted by a whole lot of other. It ain't just all that shit is tied into the hip hop shit. They tying all that shit in together though, and selling it to everybody. Everything is promoted by a hip hop beat, a hip hop commercial, or uh, 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 some some swaggy type of shit behind it. Selling cars, selling fast food, selling socks, selling toothpaste, selling Kotex, selling condoms, whatever that is for sale. There's a commercial where that shit being sold with a, you know what I'm saying? Some beat, an 808, or some hip hop, what they call hip hop related shit behind that shit. We if, so once we can see this shit, and we like I said, that's why I keep talking about people is falling for the okie doke. Ain't no leaders. Hey, why the fuck people keep looking for? Oh man, these celebrities ain't man, they ain't doing shit. It's, I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to be frank. Yeah, I mean, nah, yeah. I'm going to be frank with them. Yeah. Their job was never to do shit for you. Yeah. Their job is to do exactly what the fuck it is. Get in front of this camera, act like this, do this, get paid, and that's it. Do what I'm doing. You look at them with that feeling of looking up toward them. Them award shows don't mean nothing. Well, because you, you sold to such and such and such and such. Oh, man, please. Some of the movies that used to win and records and stuff that win, number one and best record. And tell yourself the truth. Some of that shit, I remember, I've never even heard of the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember 
listening to the award, watching the awards back in the day, and it was Eric Clapton had won an award over some I forget who it was. Man, my mouth dropped. Like I had heard his name before, but like I hadn't heard, seen no work, and he wasn't relevant to me in my world. But who he beat was from in your world, type. I said, man, what the fuck? So you got to, man, look. The world is a show and everybody is on this stage. So when people tell me, man, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I, ain't, I don't like fake people. Man, everybody is real and everybody is fake, according to them definitions. Because if you... you you got to be both. Because you're not the same you all the time. In every situation, in every scenario, you're not the same you. So you got to be real and fake too. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you're standing in front of your supervisor, you're not the thugged out you that was standing in front of the store when I saw you earlier. You know what I'm saying? Your pants pulled up. You're talking right and everything. And shit, you done held this job for three years. My nigga, that tell me you disciplined in your shit. So the nigga that's just right here, is that is that the fake one? Or is it the nigga when I see you back at the store when we leave? Is that the fake one? Which one was the real one? Because you say you're a real nigga. Is it the nigga standing in front of the store? Is it the disciplined nigga? So everybody got both sides to everything that they complain about. Everything that that's, that they don't like. It's parts of that shit in you. It's why you able to recognize it so good. Yeah. That's where self-evaluation and that mirror come into play at. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You pause and be like, oh, I've been harping on this for a couple days. And criticizing this. Now let me look at myself right quick. Yeah. Talk to myself in the mirror right quick. Because it's obviously a reflection of something that's going on. Be it big or small. You know what I'm saying? But you know. That's just how it be. But look man. Hey. We about to take the time. And, and probably roll up one more. And uh, finish jaw jacket for a few more minutes. I might turn him back on. And give y'all one more upload. Because I do got some stuff that's on my mind. That we can go further into. But uh, fam. Sit back. Relax. Hit the like. Comment. Share. Subscribe. You know all that good stuff. Go in and, um description join the discord you know what I'm saying get you some fresh sneakers when I do the fresh sneaker drop and uh y'all know what it is man oh and I like to thank my dude for popping in on me you know what I'm saying and being vocal because I like to tell y'all here goes video inside a video mayor oh so anyway so I like when my dudes pop through because it give perspective on the conversation like it ain't just me and my opinion like I said, my bro got daughters. So I felt like it would be better for him to add some input. Because I haven't had daughters. So for me to sit here and tell y'all with my mind at with this. To be me, true to me. I couldn't do that. Without having a another perspective that's strictly about that. Because I could have been dead wrong. I could be dead wrong about what I'm saying about this. But he... Is there to bring that balance to let me know that, hold on, parenting is still equal. Now, you still got to do, you know what I'm saying? Checks and balances. So, I felt more comfortable bringing y'all that information like that. And that's how we should be doing this. Like I tell y'all, when we come on here, it should be some information, man. Something that everybody can get from this, man. You hear me? Something that everybody should get from this. It's a thin line between discipline and, 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 and abuse. So if the child was acting all irate, she got up in grandma's face, and by all means, she deserved a smack across the ass, a swat to the flow, or whatever she got, and she may be glad that's all she got as a teenager. Now, I don't condone him if he hit her above the neck, though, because that's some sucker shit, and that show me a sign of something else, bruh, and I don't want to look at you like that, and I don't want to talk about another brother like that again right now. I know there's plenty more that I'm going to get on in a couple videos, because I've been seeing it in the YouTube streets, but it's me. Signing off. I'm about to fill my cup of coffee up. And we're about to get back to it. I'll be right back.